Hi guys! Hello everybody! So it is May, and we realized that we haven't done a life update for May yet. Um, and some updates that we have for announcements that we made earlier this month, so... We got some news, y'all! So we talked about in our Fitbit unboxing video about our new fitness plan and our fitness goals. So we just want to give a quick update on that. The Fitbits have been very helpful. Yep, we've been using them to log our steps, our activities. We use MyFitnessPal to log our food. But we are doing a lot better. We're trying, we're trying really hard to work out in some manner or fashion every day, be it turbo fire, taking a walk, going down to our little gym and, and working out. Or we, you know, we went down there the other day, we went to the gym, worked out, we had a play to game pool where I beat Brian horribly at pool lies. That's all lies. <laughs> I lost really bad guys. Um, uh, and, and we've been doing the Just Dance on the yep, uh, uh, 360 yep, Connect. Yeah, on the Connect. Just trying to be better, guys. That's yep. all you can do. It, it, anything is better than nothing at all, which is the way we were doing before. Brian's lost a few pounds. Um, we have seen a lot of non-scale victories. I mean, I'm not really focusing on the weight loss portion of it so much as because I get a little obsessed with it. And if I don't see good results, then I quit doing it because I'm a quitter. Get discouraged fairly easily. So, kind of trying to work, kind of just keep plodding along and then eventually I will weigh myself and kind of see where I'm at, but I will not do it every day or multiple times a day like I've done in the past. So not a lot of scale changes. Just um, um, our clothes are fitting better mm -hmm. um, and can kind of see a difference when we look in the mirror and when yep. we look at each other mm -hmm. uh, we're definitely seeing a difference so. Yep we stare at each other guys all the time just say you look different. Are you doing something different? Are you working out? I'm scared. Second update uh, I mentioned not long ago that I got a job. You got a job, y'all. I just started my second week. Um, and uh, I love the company that I work for so far. I love the people that I work with. And I'm, I'm very happy. Do you have any other updates that you would like to give? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll take this one. Guys, Team Bracey has a new team member. What? He's not being very good as part of the team right now. He's generally very friendly and comes when he's called. Not right now though, <laughs> because <laughs> he's not interested. So, Brian, if you could pan down to the quilt and show everybody the new member of Team Bracey. Hello. <laughs> so this is Oswald. His names are Oswald Kitty Kitty or Ozzy Oswald. If anybody knows what the reference to that name is, I'll be surprised and impressed. His nickname could also be Oswin. So there's a Oh, hint. he just gave you a hint. That's a pretty glaring hint. <laughs> um, we adopted Oswald from our local PetSmart. He was in one of the glass cases like a trophy cat and he tug tugged at our heartstrings from the moment we stopped at his cage. We probably spent a half an hour playing with him in the window and he just really had that sad adopt me look on his face and he was so friendly. So we went into the little room where you get to meet um, the pet and see if you think it will be a good fit in your family. He jumped out of his cage and he came right up and sat between us and let us pet him. And he was so sweet. He is a pretty good kitty. He, he's on our second week with us. He's two years old. He still has his claws, but rarely does he ever use them. He does like his little scratching post thing, but doesn't really claw otherwise unless he is trying to get our feet underneath the blankets. Or jumping up on places he'll, he'll use his yeah, claws Yeah, if he's, if he's going to fall or if he feels like he's going to fall off, he will use his claws. But, you know, he's not tearing up the furniture. He's not scratching at us very much. Yeah. Occasionally he'll get us accidentally or, you know, when he's jumping on us or whatever. He crates up like a dog. 
So far, he's we, been a good cat. So. We love him, and he fits into our little family. Well, we really wanted a dog, which I know we've probably mentioned in the past. We've, we've looked at a lot of dogs. We just aren't in the place in our lives with him starting a new full-time job and me obviously working full-time. We just didn't think it was fair to add a dog into the mix right now. As aside from all, uh, us both working full-time, our apartment is not really large enough for a dog. So we're gonna wait it out till we get a bigger place and then maybe maybe Team Bracey will add a pet, a bigger pet soon. And we'll post some pictures of the, uh, oh, the yeah. one they call Oswald onto our- The mysterious Oswald not cooperating kitty kitty. Um, we will try to post some still photos on our Facebook page. And by we, I mean me. Uh, go to facebook.com slash it's Bracey. Yep. Give the page a like if you haven't yet. Cause I mean, hello. <laughs> and I'll put some pictures up there so you guys can see what he looks like when he's not hiding being really shy but uh yep yeah, that's it for our May update and, um, um, so guys our question for this video is if you could have any mythical creature as a pet what mythical creature would you choose? My answer is unicorn. I would want a Dagron. But what if the Dagron uses fire breath all over our furniture? Or a dragon, for those of you not familiar with Strong Bad. Um, Does our renter's insurance cover dragon breath? Uh, well, we can call our agent. I don't know. How would the apartment complex feel about that? Well, that in our lease. That's probably in the band animals, so never mind. But what creature would you guys choose? And why? And if you have any other thoughts on our video, on our life update, on our fitness, on the job, on the cat, anything else you wanna you wanna let us know about, just post down below any suggestions you have for future videos. If you're not subscribed yet, well, you should probably subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. It lets us know that you're interested in the content we're putting out. We are at 75 subscribers. Can you believe it, guys? We're coming up on a year. Yeah. We've been doing this for what, 10 months now. I think what could be better than our an anniversary gift from our subscribers, but to get us to triple digits. 100 subscribers by the I, time we have our year YouTube anniversary. Which is end of July? Yeah. Guys, can you do it? We should hashtag it Get Bracy to 100. And I'm not sure the exact date when we started in July, but I'll, I'll put it right here. Guys, we can do this. 75 subscribers is where we're at. We need 25 to get to 100. Hashtag get Bracy to 100. If you know anybody so, that likes watching vlogs, send them our way. Yeah. So. Or neighbors, go to your ha go to your neighbor's <laughs> house, ask for sugar, and then be like, hashtag get Bracy to 100. Go subscribe. That's it for this week's video, you guys, and hopefully you have an awesome week. Your two days from the weekend. Oh, you guys are gonna have so much fun this weekend. I know it in my heart of hearts. Oh, by the way, Captain America Civil War. Go yep. see it. We'll talk about that next week. Yep. We'll do a Geek Week video on that next week. Yep. So look forward to that. Yep. Uh, but uh, until next week. Remember that I love you. I love you, we, we love, love him, him, and we love you. Bye. Bye. If you know anybody so, that likes watching vlogs, send them our way. Yeah, just share them with them. Share, share, share them share. with, share them with friends where it's hard. Ow. <laughs>